with CDPR effectively abandoning their red engine, this brings to mind how important preservation is. He'd like CDPR to uh, take a note from id Software's playbook and open source the red engine. Though likely a pipe dream, what are the barriers that would prevent CDPR from going this route? Aren't they just leaving their in-house engine to languish? A good modding SDK for Cyberpunk 2077 would be great as well. Alex? I'm looking at... I'm looking at online. I'm curious if like any of their middleware could not be open sourced as part of it. Um, like the way they do trees or occlusion culling or audio. I'm curious if those would be roadblocks from the license from when they originally used them to get them in the game to having it be open sourced. But I think the rendering, most of the rendering and all the gameplay code could easily be thrown out there. Uh, they'd also have maybe issues with regard to open sourcing the uh, the files that are used for characters. Mm -hmm. um, so like uh, Ken Reeves or any of the other people who were scanned into the game, there could be aspects of privacy or whatever they assigned at that point in time. Uh, uh, but it could also be done in, a, in an id textile way where you can build the game without assets maybe and then you provide them. Yeah. There, there, I don't know. There, I think there's routes to go forward there uh, that they could take. And I would love to see them take it because if it is really going, if it's really going goodbye completely after uh, Phantom Liberty, then I see no reason not to do it. At this point, people are just going to want to play Cyberpunk forever. Why not give them the complete tools beyond, beyond the modding tools at that mm -hmm. point?